All right, y'all, we are back with another video. Now, this one right here, they said Mel Gibson has been on a roll. Now, this one right here got that uh, Hollywood is panicking as Mel Gibson is exposing them all. Now, we're going to check this out. Like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to everyone that's been showing so much support. Everybody that's been leaving positive comments in the comment section. Everybody just clicked on this video for the very first time. I appreciate all of you. Like I said, uh, Mel Gibson have, has not been playing. He has not been playing around. And like I said, we're going to go ahead and check this out. And let's see exactly what happened. In a 1998 interview, Mel Gibson made a number of cryptic references to a dark and evil side of Hollywood that he personally encountered. When I came over here, I was, oh God, I was in my, my uh, mid-twenties. Right. The first time I really came over here. You know, I had a whole bunch of weird paranoid suspicions about what the hell was going on because there was a lot of stuff I couldn't understand. Right. Um, and nobody was really bothering to explain it to me. They don't. <clears throat> and, uh, it, it, uh, and I formed a bunch of opinions about the town and about the people in it that were like, surely that couldn't be because a whole place can't be like, you know, weird town, you know, where the stranger wanders in and, and all the people are in the bar and they all shut up when he looks at him and, mm -hmm. and they tell you don't go out of the house on the hill and it's like that. Mm -hmm. And then you go away and you think, no, that's, I was wrong. I mean, that's insane thinking. I'm paranoid. I imagined that stuff. That couldn't be the reason for why so-and-so was acting like, could it? Mm. And then you find out later on the track that you are exactly on track mm. with a lot of this stuff. Not specifically on no. track, but that you could, uh, that some of your worst nightmares were real at the time. And you think, mm. a place like this can humiliate you. Mm -hmm. And it can be, it can either, it can humiliate you, it can be humbling. I mean, it, it does rip your life to pieces. Is it? If you'll let it. Yeah. And it's always pounding at the walls. It's yeah. the, these little guys, these little heathens with no soul downstairs with horns on their head with a battering ram trying to like beat your walls in. Now Gibson, wow. of course, since the head interview, uh -oh. has met with, uh, shall we say, some unfortunate circumstances. His reputation was soiled after 2006 drunk driving arrest when he made widely publicized anti-Semitic remarks which have tarnished his reputation among Hollywood insiders ever since. And yet, Gibson appears to have come out from that reputational slander rather undaunted. He was seen Dang. of late standing up and saluting President Trump at a recent UFC championship fight, and he's been pictured posing with Carrie Lake in Arizona. But now we're getting reports that Gibson is preparing to release a groundbreaking four-part documentary series that will shed light on the hidden world of a global child sex trafficking ring. According to Newsweek, the shocking revelation is expected to expose the industry's staggering annual revenue of $34 billion. If you can believe it, that's an amount Golly. that surpasses the yearly earnings of the airline industry. Here's Tim Ballard of Operation Underground and one of the leading figures in the global fight against child trafficking. Ukraine got a phone call from Mel Gibson. He actually did the final edit of The Sound of Freedom. That's how we know each other, but not well, not well enough that I'd be getting phone calls. And he told me that he was in Budapest at the time. This was right hours after the invasion. And he said he supports a bunch of orphans in Ukraine and he was worried about them. And he asked if I could help get them out. So now I've got 12 from my wife. I got 13 others from Mel Gibson. And I'm thinking, okay, I got this list of kids I got to get out. Um, I told Mel, I said, you got to help me. This is going to be expensive. I won't ask you for direct donation, but mm -hmm. can you help me film this? You know, let's film what's happening so we can get people to understand and they can support us. He said, no problem. He helped us get set up and started filming. Four months later, what I thought was going to be maybe a documentary about Ukraine ends up being a four-part docuseries that's almost done. It's being produced by DNA Films and executive produced by Tony Robbins. That's how crazy it got and how prophetic my wife was. When I showed up in Ukraine with a list of, I think, 20 names, the Ukrainians countered me and gave me over 10,000 names of orphans that they didn't know where they were because of the chaos caused by war.
And more importantly and, and more frightening to me was the fact that I know that human trafficking is a $32 billion a year business. It's the fastest growing criminal enterprise in the world. And I also know how kids get forced into that market. And it's through vulnerable situations like in the aftermath of a hurricane, mostly in a developed country or an earthquake, or in this case, a war. Hey, gang, have you seen the Twitter thread Man, died suddenly crazy. or the new movie by the same name? It really is heartbreaking to see the rise of sudden stroke deaths that seem to occur in lockstep with the tyrannical forced vaccinations of the Biden administration. And now the number of strokes continue to rise. And I'm very concerned. So here's something that I'm doing to protect myself and my family. My friends at Lifeline Screening are helping me detect my risk of having a stroke. And I encourage you to do the same by clicking on the link below. If we're going to defeat liberalism, it's vitally important that we stay healthy for this battle. Your family and your country need you to be at your best. So let me tell you, getting screened today to confirm you're healthy will bring you peace of mind and screening that results in early detection just might save your life. So don't wait. Protect your legacy today and ensure you're healthy by visiting Lifeline Screening right now. Securing your health is just a click away. Again, that was Tim Ballard. Uh, he's absolutely amazing. He's a former yeah, CIA and DHS special agent. And now he's dedicated his life to rescuing children from human trafficking, which, of course, is happening in Ukraine, as he uh, pointed. Yes, and like he, he's right about that. Tim Ballard does, does a good job at that, man. Like I said, because this stuff out here is it's getting... It's getting real. And that's why I can't see how so many, like a lot of people in the media and the, and the liberals and stuff like that, it was just trying to just talk about, talk down about this movie, Sound of Freedom. Like, I don't, I really don't get it. I really don't get it. And like they said that they was praising him at first. The liberals, all of them, they was praising this man at first. Now he come out with a movie. Now it's all of a sudden, oh, this movie shouldn't be out. Forget this movie. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. And like we heard what Mel Gibson said, bro, he ain't playing. <laughs> Mel Gibson is out here with a vengeance. And he ain't playing at all. But let's keep it going, y'all. And it's happening more than any one of yep. us could imagine our worst nightmares at our southern border, thanks to the deliberate incompetence of the bumbling Biden administration. But as you can see from that testimony, Mel Gibson, behind the scenes, is on the forefront of these rescue operations, yep. which may indeed involve the release of this documentary, that according to Newsweek. Now, you should know Gibson's publicist has uh, denied these rumors. Uh, obviously, he's very worried about the blowback that Mel would inevitably get from a town that doesn't appear to take too kindly to exposing also, some of his darker not making one. tendencies. But unfortunately for Hollywood... The genie may be out of the bottle on this one. Uh, I don't know if any of you saw the recent bombshell piece in the Wall Street Journal, a front page article exposing the social media site Instagram for being used as a platform for connecting and promoting a vast network of accounts dedicated to the commission and purchase of underage sex content. I, you know what, I had, I've been hearing this for a while that they was talking about shutting down a lot of these other apps like the Instagram, the TikToks, all this. They, I've been hearing that they've been talking about getting ready to shut these type of apps down. I don't know how true that is, but I have been hearing it a lot. If y'all been hearing that, please let me know down below in the comment section, man. It's crazy out here. It was an, in, an investigation conducted by the Wall Street Journal, Stanford University, mm -hmm. as well as the University of Massachusetts Amherst. And it found that Instagram's algorithms actively promote pedophilia-related wow. content, connecting pedophiles and guiding them to content sellers through various recommended systems. The researchers discovered that Instagram allows people to search explicit hashtags related to child sexual abuse and links them to accounts advertising and selling child sex material. I mean, it was horrific stuff, to say the least, and indicates that something seems to be going on here. There does seem to be a kind of Harvey Weinstein-like rumbling going on here where mm -hmm. the dark secrets everyone knew about are about to come to the surface for all to see. So regardless of whether Mel Gibson goes through with this or not, it does appear that the cat is out of the bag and some pretty seedy behavior among our ruling elite is about to come to much-deserved light.
Wow. Hey, gang, I know mm. what it's like to feel alone out there in these turbulent times, but I broke free. If you, too, have been looking for a community with like-minded patriots who are serious about resisting globalism, building a parallel economy, and having intelligent and deep fellowship on a regular basis, then you've come to the right place. In my Courageous Patriot Insiders community, we're building a close-knit movement of the cliff notes on the truth of how Wow. So as y'all can see how Hollywood is panicking. Now saying something about that he was going to come out with uh, that Mel Gilson going to come out with this documentary then turn around and somebody say hey he's not going to go through with this. So hey. But like I said you could tell Hollywood is panicking because if not they don't want none of this right here to come out and Mel Gibson is not playing because he exposing them all. And like I said once again shout out to Tim Ballard man. He does a great job with the way he do and stuff like that. Like I mentioned before, I just don't understand why so many uh, people are just trying to downplay this movie and just talk crap about it. I, I just really don't get it. This is stuff that is going on that need to be brought to light. So, you know, and that helps out a lot. They, they make parents, more parents, keep they, make sure they keep their eyes on their kids and make sure they know where they at at all times because you got some very, very nasty people out here in this world that just don't care. So, like I said, I don't understand these liberals and some of these people in media that is doing this and they're just trying to talk crap about this movie and all that. But this is crazy. Like I said, y'all let me know down below what y'all think about that. Uh, like I said, uh, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.